Hey guys, welcome back to Handling Home and a very happy new year to you all. Hope you all had a really nice time over the Christmas break. A new year always gives me very excited of starting things afresh and I got loads of DIY and craft ideas in the pipeline for you. And this week we're going to start a new year with a new episode of Hester's Handmade Home. Just before Christmas I finished my bathroom makeover and I would love to show you how I turned this small and boring room into something fun and spacious. This is what my bathroom looked like before. A mismatch of tiles, a shower that would only give you a few drops of water, an old bathtub and cheap vinyl flooring. Usable but not ideal. It's a small bathroom around 3 meters by 1.5 meter and I think with small spaces you always should make a big statement. Of course I could have painted the whole room white to make it brighter and bigger but with the right color scheme and some bold patterns you can make the room look bigger as well. I started the makeover by finding a fun wallpaper because for walls that don't come into contact with water wallpaper is a great option for your bathroom and I went to wallpaperdirect.com because I love their website. Doesn't matter what paper you're looking for they have it and I found this great looking piece. It's called Mad Dogs and it's by Albany and I love the Victoriana print, slightly Alice in Wonderland-esque and the little doggy even looks like Kermit! Even though it's a big print, the monotone colours doesn't make it overpowering for the bathroom. The opposite even, it made the room look bigger. I used the wallpaper on two of the walls and painted the other wall white. I didn't have the budget to change the tiles so I just painted them with grey tile paint. This will take you a few hours to do and you need to let it dry for about 3 days but the results are amazing. The room looks so much more sophisticated with the grey tiles. We had a new bath and shower installed and I built this bath surround out of a thin sheet of plywood and some offcuts. There's a little door so you can store all your toiletries and cleaning products out of sight. This bath surround didn't make it as a tutorial because for everybody the dimensions in the bathroom are different but if you would like to make your own and you're a little bit stuck just send me an email and I can help you out. From some other pieces of leftover wood I built this vanity. There's a shelf so you can store your towels in a basket and little drawers for the small bits. These wooden boxes keep the products we use every day looking neat and tidy. The vinyl floor was stuck down so well I just end up sticking something over it. I used the vinyl wood effect plank from B&Q. They're only a few millimeters thick and have a self-adhesive side and are super easy to put down. You simply cut them to size with a standing knife and press them down. I like this so much I might get some more from my toilet floor. So there you have it, a whole new look for the bathroom. All our budget went to changing the bathtub and the shower, so with the little money I had left, I've been creative and came up with a whole new look to add a bit of charm to this previously boring room. If you love this wallpaper as much as I do and you are a UK resident, hop on over to my website, hestershandmadehome.com, leave a comment on this blog post and you're in for a chance to win in your own 10 meter roll of Mad Dog wallpaper. I hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel not to miss out on any of my future projects. Next week I'm back with a new episode of Hester's Book Club. See you then!